Hey, what's good, guys? This is B-Boy Air Rec, and I'm here with my HP touchpad uh, running CyanogenMod 9 uh, Alpha 0 0.6. And um, I'm here to show you how to make uh, app switching um, a little bit closer to uh, WebOS. So one of the cool things about WebOS is that um, is the multitasking is how they, the way they... Um, the way they uh, you know they, they implement it so like you know you're running an app let's say you're running an application and then like you know you say oh I want to change the Nesbamber so you just swipe from the bezel and you can swipe through all your recent apps and then like you can tap it and then or you can you know you can swipe from the bezel and swipe it swipe that application away to kill the uh, application so uh, while uh, ice while uh, ice cream sandwich has you know uh, a, a recent uh, has, uh, application um, kind of uh, feature that you can swipe across. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, uh, it's sometimes, you know, you don't always want to press that button. And so, like, it would be nice to, like, have something like the bezel. So I have something here that is kind of, like, pretty similar to, uh, to WebOS. So it's, like, you can just swipe from the bezel and then choose that um, application. So uh, it's pretty, it comes in pretty handy. So, you know, say you're in the clock, you don't really want the clock. So you take the bezel, you just swipe aside, and go back to whatever you want to so um so yeah it's a really nice feature you can tap outside of it to get out to get out of it um and even pressing the uh, recent app uh it's still the same way so this is the mod this is the mod so um so yeah it's great and you can and you can still kill applications just the way you know like you can if you're Sam's or even what it was you know swipe it down or up you know it doesn't make the little like you know angry bird sound when you swipe it down and go up but you know that's fine but um, anyway, so yeah, it's a great mod. Um, so, um, so there are uh, two things that um, to get this mod. Um, so that was a demo of it, and then so in order, in order to, uh, so how would you get this? So, um, uh, first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna have to um, install um, a system UI APK um, for it, and uh, which um, I will uh, post in the uh, de uh, description. Um, so with the instructions and um, so um, the once you download that you just replace it with your system UI that's in your um, root folder system slash app uh, folder and you just replace it with um, with the link with the uh, yeah the uh, the file that um, you download and then uh, the other thing that you have to um, download is uh, this thing called uh, this application called task switcher Task Switcher. Task Switcher is one of the best apps ever created. Um, this is created by a developer named uh, Picosol. I uh, forgive me if I uh, said that incorrectly. Um, and this is a really great application. Um, shout out to Picosol because he actually helped me, um, you know, make this uh, mod possible. Um, and so yeah, like I immediately once he, you know, once he. Uh, set up all the instructions, uh, and then you know, and, and made the mod for me. I immediately donated. Big shout out! Please check out his app. So the cool thing about this app is that um, it, it enables you know launching things from you know swiping from the bezel thing. So like, um, so you can customize all these like different zones of bezel. So like, you want to swipe from like you know the bottom right. You know, say like, oh, that will be like you know launch an application, launch a custom application. This one will be launch our recent apps. This one. Um, and you can, you know, customize the sizes of the, the zones of which where you want to swipe on the bezel. And uh, it's really great. Um, so they even have functionality for, like, you know, home menu and search and, like, and all those different, like, types. so, like, you don't even have to press um, these buttons anymore. Um, you can just, like, hold the hold the tablet like this and just, you know, this could be, oh, like, oh, I want to go home. Oh, I want to go back. And so it actually works great. You know, uh, I even have this uh, little, like, uh, gets rid of the uh, the bottom the bottom notification bar and so like I, I can just hold it and it's like I can just know you know memorize where each button is on the side so you don't have to reach down here which is really great but um, so that toggle bar you know this uh, getting rid of the notification bar that's a different topic in itself so anyways so you uh, once you replace the system UI you download Task Changer and you launch Task Changer and then you open up uh, the settings for it and then so you just uh so you choose a zone that you want so let's say like you know the upper left zone you say the upper left zone is like and then you choose what the action you want to do and you choose the option show recent show recent ice cream sandwich once you choose that then um 
then you're you're all good to go. And so um, as soon as you uh, back out of it, once you once you swipe, then you'll get that. So I have all, I have three zones right now that do it. So the left, the right, and the top. Um, I could even have a bottom one. It doesn't work with too well the bottom one if you have the notification um, bar because it gets it gets in the way. Then you actually have to press a little bit above it to swipe it up. So that's kind of a pain. Um, so, uh, but if you do have the toggle bar thing, then you can use it like that uh, to swipe from the bottom. So uh, that's only, but I don't necessarily, I like to see my notifications, so I don't always use that. Um, anyways, so, um, so that's, so uh, that's, yeah, that's a modification. So uh, one thing, though, is that I would like to point out is that uh, the, if you can notice, the thumbnails are really, really blurry. Um, they're really, really low resolution, and um, I was hoping that. Um, so currently, you know, on my root wiki's thread, um, you know, we're trying to uh, work that out, um, and uh, develop developers are working on that um, because uh, supposedly, I guess, it's linked to the the DPI. So obviously, you, we can up the DPI to make you know a little higher resolution, but like that's. Um, but you know that's no good because you don't want to change the you know the whole DPI of it. It's just you just want to change the resolution for these thumbnails. So that um, so yeah, if you guys have any um, any suggestions, please let it me know in the root wiki's thread that um, I, um, that I posted for this, and um, and yeah, so uh, or in the comments below. So yeah, um, most of the information will be in the link description. If it's not there yet, I will post it eventually. Um, so keep uh, keep it locked and loaded. Um, so yeah, uh, that is, that is it. And so yeah, um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Or questions, suggestions, whatever, um, let me know in the comments or the, uh, the thread. And uh, yeah, shout out to the CyanGen, uh, team. And shout out to Picoso again, you know, I donated to him. Like, he, he's a great developer. Um, it's a great app. Please check it out. Please support his app. And, um, oh, shout out to, like, the RootWiki team. Um, like, it, yeah, um, a whole whole bunch of developers so yeah <laughs> all right and that is uh that is how to make a app switching closer to web os and uh, i will see you guys later